Hello everyone, today we're going to look at how to use Google Classroom to really organize yourself and take advantage of the features that Classroom uh, allows. So the two features are going to be the to-do list and the calendar. So when you open up Classroom, you'll see this uh, main page at the top stream, classwork and people. But really what you want to look at is this upcoming list. It'll show you everything that is due. In this case, there are three items due today that we're going to do in class. You can also just click view all and you'll be taken to a page that has all of your assignments. Now you'll see assignments for all of your classes. So you, what you want to do is go to the top, scroll down to the class you want to look at. So for example, I just want to look at this Humanities 10 class and it shows only the Humanities 10 assignments. So if we go back to the classroom menu, the three bars, we could also do it by looking at the to-do list uh, from the menu. Just click on the to-do list, we'd get to the same page. So let's go back to the menu, the three bars again. And this time we're gonna look at calendar. So we have the to-do list as a way to look at the assignments. Now let's, let's look at it in a calendar form. So when you click calendar, you'll be taken to your classes. It's a week long view uh, of the classes Excuse me. And you can see assignments that are coming up. So again, for today, I see three assignments in blue. That's for humanities. Then I see another color. So that's going to be a different class. And again, I can just choose what class I want to view. There we go. Now I'm only looking at the humanities 10 class. At the top, I can scroll through the uh, weeks, one week at a time, and see what's going on next week or what was uh, last week. So that's, this is a calendar that's associated just with Google Classroom, but I want to make sure you know also about uh, the global Google uh, calendar. So if you go up to the right hand side of your, of your website, you'll see Google Apps and just scroll down to and hover over and select, uh, not Gmail, but calendar, 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 which was one of these, there it is, calendar. So click calendar. This will take you to the full calendar. This is a Gmail calendar set up uh, for your uh, Fairfax County website. And you see I have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Sometimes it's a little much, so I could limit it to maybe instead of a month, I can do a week. There we go. It's a little easier to, to digest. I could also do just a schedule view. I kind of like that sometimes. It gives me a list day by day of what is coming up, what assignments are coming up. So I'm going to go back to the month. And again, since this shows all of the uh, classes, on the left-hand side, I can choose which class I want to look at. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and look just at the Humanities 10 class. So if I click on the little snowman here, the three dots, I can display this only. And then I see the class assignments just for that one class. And then I can just click back on the other ones if I want the other ones back on. There we go, take that one off. So one other thing I've done, let's go back to the calendar, is I've added an extra calendar. So if you notice, let's turn this one back on, I added West Potomac High School calendar. And so it tells me which are blue days and which are silver days and what the silver designation is. For example, here you see silver day on the 23rd, it's S7. This has been really good for me to organize, you know, what I need to do on the silver days and which day is a blue day and a silver day in advance. So you need to add that calendar to your calendar. So what we need to do uh, is go to your calendar here. Uh, you're going to go to settings. And add a calendar. Whoops, go back. Sorry, add other calendars. So we can browse resources or from a URL or import. Uh, in this case, new calendar, I know the, excuse me, let's go back, browse resources from a URL, there we are. So we're gonna find the website, uh, the calendar on the, on the West Potomac High School website, and then we can put it in here, West Potomac. West Potomac High School at gmail.com.
is not the name of a calendar. So we're going to look for it. So what you're looking for is the URL for the calendar. So you need to find that. Let's go ahead and um, look at uh, Google it. Let's uh, we'll Google West Potomac High School. West Potomac High School. Get to the main page. Once you get to the main page, you're going to go to events. And you can see the events calendar here, the blue days and silver days. And then you can just click add to Google Calendar. There we go. And it will add the Google Calendar to your uh, Google Calendar list. That's a great way to keep yourself organized. Let's go back to October. We can see which days are blue days and which days are silver days. Thank you very much. Until next time, this is Mr. Dahlgren signing off.